Yep, there we are. Me and Mr. B, we're, uh, we're looking about two, three, maybe 400 acres of stuff that we haven't looked. But, been picking up a few flakes and stuff, and that's it. And he says, I think I might have something down here. I think he might do. <laughs> right next to his stick. Now, that looks like a piece of Flint Ridge Cow Sydney. Sweet. Well, showing promise anyhow. All right. If we get anything else, we'll show you. Yep, we changed fields. The first one pretty much sucked. <laughs> Got to this one about five minutes ago. I had to put my boots on. And Mr. B comes out here and was standing still. And uh, she, he's got one laying right on top. Oh yeah. I'll pick it up anyhow since I've been over. Little, little tiny tip ding, that's it. But, at least it's a find. Oh, I can have it. What's it? All right. Well, if we get anything else, we'll be back. Well, we didn't crush it, but we're done. Shoot, we hit about seven different fields. And uh, I'm tired. And this is after about four hours, but this is all we wound up with. I got a midsection. Uh, tip Mr. B got this one here Just got a little tiny piece of the tip missing off of it We were kind of discussing what that might be but he said still well It could be There's the first thing he found nice Cal Sydney tip Got some cool flaking on it there Flakes run pretty far, but I don't know if you can see them or not. Last spot we stopped, we're walking along, and I said, well, shoot, there's a daggone salt. And I didn't even film it. It was sticking straight up like that, and don't ask me why I thought it was a salt, but it is. But anyhow, until next time, fellas, I hope you're all finding some nice stuff, and, uh, I may get back out again soon. I don't know. I'm awfully tired now. But thanks for all your views and comments, and we will see you later. Bye now. Well, I'm back. Um, didn't get to do much of a cleanup or anything on the, on the day Mr. B and I went, but uh, I've been out a couple more times. If I can shut her up, I might be able to get this thing done. But anyhow, she squalls like that all the time. But, uh, here, uh, I don't think this thing showed up very good the, the day that me and Mr. B were out. But it's got some damage on a bit, but it's still nice to find something complete. After, uh, after all, I was having a pretty lousy day since this was the only thing I found, and it's a midsection. It's all busted up on the side and on each end. And Mr. B found everything else. This is the only one that we actually had that he found that was uh, somewhat decent. But a little minor tip damage there, but that day I was happy to see anything. He, I guess he felt sorry for me to give me that. But I got out another day and uh, was out with Larry and we went and checked a little field that, yeah, it's probably about 20 acres. And uh, it wasn't much, but we had about a half hour before the thunderstorms come in, man. It, 
it was blowing and raining so hard that uh, I was going away from the storm and the wind and it blew the tonneau cover up on the back of my truck when I was doing about 35 mile an hour. So we was getting hit pretty hard. But uh, got back down the same place. Uh, I guess it was uh, maybe Thursday morning. Yeah, I guess it was Thursday morning. First 10 minutes I was there, found this Adina. The only thing sticking up on the doggone thing was about that much, and I seen it from a ways, ways off, and went down there and it inspected it, and it did wind up being a complete piece. But uh, other than that, We've just been waiting on the river to come back down because uh, for some reason they're not they're dropping the one pool and got it down to normal level and waiting on the other one that we usually hunt and it's still about five foot high but uh, hopefully soon it'll be down but I'm still watching your videos still commenting and uh, by the way PA arrowheads I got your comment and I replied back to it, but then turned around and hit the wrong doggone button and deleted both of them. But uh, glad to hear you up there around Flint Ridge and I wish you all the best of luck. Glad to see you getting back into airhead hunting. And uh, you said you was going down the river. I hope you had some luck down there too. Well, I reckon we'll talk to you all later. Uh, I might try to get out for a little bit in the morning if I can get my big butt up out of bed because it's supposed to be like 92 degrees tomorrow again. And um, so we'll see you in the morning and uh, hope you all find some good ones and keep up uh, carrying me along till I get back in business. All right, we'll talk to you all later. Thanks a lot. Bye.